There's no time for playing around. My words exactly. Hello everyone, this is Ultimate Number and welcome back for more Sonic Adventure. In the last part, a whole lot of Casino Lapas and wandering around. And, and there's your intro in case that that this is that this is the beginning of the episode. I'm I'm still not sure if this is the beginning of part four yet. So if it is, there's the intro. And this part we're gonna We're gonna hopefully do Ice Cap and all things after that. Let's start, as usual, by talking to everyone. I'm probably not gonna read. I saw you go in there, what are you talking about? I'm probably not gonna read every single dialogue as I'm talking along, but anyway. Let's pick up this stone. And maybe talk to the old man again, maybe he has a reaction. You're seeing this, buddy. Anyway, let's just go here first. I'm gonna go in a triangle today. Ooh, do, do you say something? Well, I've been there for a whole 40 damn minutes. By the way, I want to show you something. How I grinded out those 22 lives at back at Windy Valley. I basically just stood here. And, yeah. <laughs> That's how I grinded out all them rings. If you want to do this for a Dreamcast version specifically, you can try this out yourself. However, this doesn't last forever. Sometimes Sonic just slips off the button. And anyway, let's just continue on with this snowflake, which apparently disappears if you hold the camera. Wait, hold on. Oh wow, it stops spinning when I pick it up. I've never noticed that. That's really neat. Talk to the swimmer twins. Twinkle Park was great. Tonight I'm going to the casino. I've been there. It's not. Yep, they are twins. The person that's completely different. And there's this girl, which I don't know who she is. Wow, what a beautiful pool. But I didn't bring my swim suit. Since I'm not, don't really have any subjects, let's talk about Kool-Aid. What flavors do you like of Kool-Aid? I like pretty much any flavor, really, but my favorite cherry... <laughs> my favorite cherry is flavor, yes. Oop, here's Big the Cat. Froggy, where are you? Uh, maybe he, he went this way, maybe? I don't know. What do you say? That's completely outrageous. There's a big cat as t tall as me standing right next to me. That guy has another date today. Uh, which guy? But anyway, on the subject of Kool-Aid, I like pretty much every any flavor. I, I just wish they would bring back, like, green apple. Because all I ever have is, like, chocolate-berry fin. And I wish we... And I wish lemon lime was more common. That's one of my favorite flavors. My sister, she cannot stand cherry because it tastes like medicine. Oh, it's this guy. La la la, we're in love. She's the only girl for me. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. So happy. Do you still have a couple? Do you still have a couples for special? <laughs> Must read that was every sense back. Anyway, uh, do you, honest question: Have you ever? Even as a kid or something, like, tried mixing Kool-Aid flavors? I have. Right now I'm tr drinking... That's right. Right now I'm drinking, like, strawberry orange Kool-Aid. It's really good, actually. <laughs> I have it right here. You could also try lemonade and... other various things. Try mixing flavors. It's really, really good. By the way, there's a brick wall there. The cars just come out of there, out of the blue. Get it? Out of the blue? Yeah. <laughs> I've, like, completely dieted m myself from soda and stuff. I've also dieted myself from candy. Maybe that's the reason I'm not being really sick all that often. Satellite cities? I, 
I don't see no stinking satellites. What does that say? I can't read that. Uh, by the way, there's a sign I never read. Apparently read. I'm curious what is that. Oh, it's this. What does that say? Whatever. <laughs> I don't feel like reading it aloud. There's the burger shop. There's the old man. Oh. Here's the girl who's in love with this guy. Finally, I'm inside the shop. Now what do I do? I took all night just to take a few steps. I never slept even. No. N no. Oh my gosh. Let me talk to this guy. It's not just the look. I feel a chill running down my spine. I did get this on look, right? Yep. There's a hamburger on a pig piece of paper. I want I want to eat that. Oh, it sure would. I forgot. This girl never changes her dialogue. Now, what do you say? This guy, I swear, is the only guy who has two pieces of dialogue after, like, every single thing ever. Anyway, let's just use Diagonal Boost to get out of here and use this ice... ice... key... stone... Let's just call this thing an ice key and, like, somehow do stop and swap, somehow bring it to Banjo-Tooie, and somehow get the giant globo. Somehow. The train headed for the Some, or somehow get the globo in this game. <laughs> well, that's what I'm about to do. It sure is fun going down that thing six times, six frickin' times. Eight times if you, or seven, or yeah, eight times if you won't really want to do a Sonic and Tails. Oh, really? Was it now? Now let's watch as Sonic disappears. Come on. I want to see Sonic literally disappear inside the drain. It's true. If you first person in there, he's just not there. Very spoopy. And this, for some reason, collapses. Not sure why. I guess maybe Knuckles broke it down or something? Maybe? That's the only way I can dis I can tell. Or something. Clearly it goes down though. No. I wouldn't be able to get back up. I do not want to do stuff. I do not want to get the stone again. Sorry. We're the exploration party searching with a blow. Part of the mountain is collapsed and revealed what looks like it to be an entrance. What looks to be like an entrance, it is an stone with an ice pattern on it? It's right here. Taste it. No, well, apparently I missed. <laughs> I almost thought I threw it over the fence. I overestimated Sonic's throw ability. Any more guys to the train speak? Headed for Station Square will be departing I shouldn't soon. be able to hear you from all the way up there. No one up here. Is there anyone inside Tails' workshop? Is this plane in there? Nope. We do get Tails' symbol. Anyone down here? Yeah. What do you say? Hey, that's it! That's my big discovery! Actually, it looks real similar, but has some differences. No. No! There. Bullshit. I joined the expedition so I could help make some big discovery. Then my name would appear in all the textbooks. No! Remember, push I. Why I? I don't know why, but maybe you know why. <laughs> why do I always check in there? I know there's going to be nothing in there. I like exploring. The Mystic Ruins look really good with all these plant things. What are, the, what are these? Are these peacock plants? Peacock weeds? And these are just regular ass weeds, and these are like dank weed. So much weed in this game. What do you say? I heard an island found out of the sky. I didn't believe it at first, but come to think of it, maybe that mountain near the station is the. No, I want to drop. No! Yeah. Hmm, does this key go here? I am in the Mystic Ruins. 
This must be a different key. Wow! <laughs> nice touch! <laughs> very, very nice touch. What, did Sonic think it would turn into frigid cold air or something? Clip through here. No. I didn't have enough BLJ speed. A huge cave appeared out of nowhere. Overnight. We have to look into it. Well, that's everyone, I guess. Did I already talk to you? Yeah, I did. Now, let's go into this here cave and explore Angel Island. The rocks rumbled and revealed the entrance to a cave. The soil seems to look like the soil from the mystic ruins. Honest question here. According to a map I've read on Google Images or something, there's a pe there's a pe there's supposed to be like a warp to Angel Island right here, even when Angel Island isn't fallen. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Is this warp here always, or is like the warp only there when Angel Island specifically drops? Yep, definitely same soil. Looks to be from ancient times. I will not. I, I don't want to throw it there. I will not put it there yet. Instead, I will go forward and see if there's, like, a fire cave. Nope. It, it's all walled off, unfortunately. I can't even see through it. Whoa. What is this? Oh, wow. It really is a door. I mean, look. It has handles. And what are those? Are those? It looks like a a serpent dragon of some. It looks like a person riding a a serpent dragon of some type. And this person's like a knight with like what looks to be like a slate over his or her head. Clearly has no relation to chaos whatsoever. Maybe it's like predicting some other game. The key is floating. I'm out of here. Nope. Yay, Sonic glitch through the door, which is no longer there. Instead, we get reflection ice, which has really cool reflection, I must admit. <laughs> it looks really good for the Dreamcast, wouldn't you say? Except for that. That just part is just not covered in ice. And we can swim in here, but we better be careful. We lose 1 HP every 3 seconds, whereas with Toxic, we lose like 1 HP every 2 seconds. Alright, can I enter the level without getting on? Yep. And we get glitchiness. Okay, Ice Cat. So clearly we're going to board Snorbro the first time, first time in the stage, right? Right? Nope. Get the green Chaos Emerald. Also, look at Sonic. Well, you did look at Sonic, but he was covered in ice. Anyway, since someone didn't do it, watch out when you get frozen. <laughs> Can we see that face front? <laughs> look at Sonic. Even if you're frozen, jump a couple no, of I had to move left and right slightly. What are these things? Aw, oh, that's cute. He ejects out at the little thing, and then I kill them to get a gorilla. Like, an ice gorilla. Oh, wow. I never noticed how pretty this actually looks. I mean, wouldn't you say that it looks very pretty? Even the rings are frozen, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, let's go up here and see that. Like things in their way. Right, can I do something with this iceberg? Well, I shoved it. Well, I shoved it back further. And you can only shove that iceberg, not any of these. I can make them look cracked. I can appear slightly inside one of them. I can't even get on this thing. Anyway, let's just progress and do this. Some stunning height from that. I mean, it could go up here, but I'm gonna go the long way first. Because, like I said, I'm gonna do the long way and then I'm gonna do the shortcut when I'm doing speed runs. 
Hang on to the icicle and jump. What you icicle? Be able to jump Is this an ice here? But don't hold on too long. The only... Right off. The only... Oh, oh, I killed him in one shot. Or, no, I didn't. Yep, he'll slip right off. For some reason, if you do clockwise, he goes slow, but if you do it anti-clockwise, then yeah. And yeah, you just literally fall off if you stay on too long. I didn't even grab it. You can't climb it. Let's go this way. Because I want to know what's this way. Ten rings, and that's literally it. What's up here? No. I will not accept it. I don't even need the icicles. Fuck the icicles. What is up here? Just a shortcut, I, I presume? Ooh, and a one-up. I will get said one-up. Anything else noteworthy about this limestone cave? Or this isn't limestone cave, like the other cave is. And yeah, as you can see, there's where I was supposed to go. Yeah, you saw it already. You've seen other people do this. Anyway, let's go to the main point of Ice Cap. Or the second main point. A blockade. I can't move. There's no music. Oh, there's the music. <laughs> I just had to wait. There's more wind than music. There's a line of rings here, tempting you to light dash so much, but you don't need to. Hold on, let me get a good view of this cave. I can't first person. I literally can't first person. By the way, from here, you can actually skip every single part of this if you do a well-placed jump and clip through the bridge. That's how speedrunners do it. And if, and if they don't land in the bridge, they land like the thing next to the bridge and then try to jump from there. And look, and look as you can see, Sonic's slipping. I mean, look. Even Tails is slipping. And Sonic had cold breath. Yay! Which is glitching. <laughs> Having a good time, huh, Sonic? <laughs> Alright, now let's climb this limestone cave, whatever limestone is supposed to mean. Let's not take the... Yeah, let's take the icicles. Who the hell would ever touch those spikes? But By the way, if you're pressing right, you don't want to hold right or else Sonic will just... Here, let me demonstrate. I'm holding right. No, it only does that in the Director's Cut version, I believe, I guess. <laughs> Let's go up here, ignore the giant arrow, go down here, not fall off, and get 30 rings. And actually, a, a decent amount of lives. Let's get more rings, take the speed boost, and miss the icicle completely. And here... Oh, there is another one of these enemies. Once again, who would ever touch these spikes? Yeah, if you're smart enough, you can actually aim out the third to last obstacle. Obstacle! Be careful not to fall off. Mm, what'd you say? Anyway, let's just move on. And try not to fall off with our tapping of the right when I'm moving slightly to the left when holding up. Thank goodness I didn't clip through the loop. Use the panel to jump. It may even help guide you away. It guided me back to where I started. No, it actually guided me back here. <laughs> the gigantic ass icicle, which you can't slip on for some reason. I could jump down there, but yeah, I, bet, I bet it would be pointless. Maybe some other time. If this is pointless, I'll just pop up on screen. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Oh shit! I didn't hold. Nah, uh, that, that's for another day. So here, you can actually clip through the wall if you're smart enough. I'll cut if it if I can't get it within a few things, but I'll show you if, if I do. I'll cut either until I get it or I'll give up, so I'll be silent. Well, there's that.
Well, I give up. The point is, you can clip through, like, this specific corner. I can do it in Director's Cut, but... Apparently not in Dreamcast. And I did do this with the keyboard, too. I'll, I'll try for, like, three more seconds. Nope. Anyway, let's just get to skiing. To Crash Bandicoot skiing. <laughs> Avalanche and no floor, apparently. We get this kind of skateboard. I know the path of this is by heart because I did skiing so many times. You want to stay left for the first time and then right three times. Left after that. And then stay in center if you want the rings, that is. The frozen rings. And now for skiing, which I can't really hold up. In fact, you don't... In fact, I highly recommend you do not hold up. Because when you're doing that, crazy things can happen. Such as Sonic jumping for no reason, or like... like funny thing, if you hold down... Then... Yeah, Sonic makes that noise. Anyway, I'll take a normal-ish route. Like that. Or I'll do a path where I don't usually do, like this, with spe speed boosts everywhere. And it'll get quite a lot of rings, actually. <laughs> oh, I can be up there? Oh, now I won't be up there. By the way, these things flying by, they can actually hurt you, but they can't damage you for some reason. Whoa. And for the sake of doing it, I guess I'll do the slag jump for practice. <clears throat> I'll do it. He I'll do it here. It yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll do it here. I'll because I'll have several attempts at this. You don't want to hold up here. Okay, for the second jump, you just want to do it as normal. Hold up. Third jump. Don't hold any direction. Okay, I did get it, but he didn't jump. If you jump on the last possible frame, he just doesn't jump. If you jump a frame before, then he does successfully do it. Yay, square emerald. Can I go up? No, I can't. Because there's a barrier. But yeah, if you do all three jumps successfully, you get the swag jump. Which is required for a mission, actually. <laughs> I'll just keep trying it until I just get it eventually. Just for warm-up. Yeah, not bad. Not bad indeed, but not good enough. But yeah, remember the strategy is like, make sure you do not hold up at all until you jump. And remember, when you're doing sick the sick tricks can't with the camera angles, you don't want to hold up. You actually want to hold you actually want to spin your circle in conjunction with the camera movement. Like, that works better. Trust me. And if you can pull off right and do just that at the final jump without hitting that one bump and getting your air, then you get the swag jump. Anyway, down into the funnel we go. And back here. After studying it, I found it similar to this... To the what? Stratum? But actually, it's part of the border. There's a difference. It's pretty interesting. What's a stratum? Can someone tell me that? The train. Nope. Who was that with the long arms and red body? I think he, he was headed towards the waterfall. By the way, guys, if I were to go back after that... Like, <laughs> the citizens of Stage Square would have nothing different to say. I'll cut this out if no, no one really does. Oh, here's a guy who says something different. Once my work's done, I want to go snowboarding. What, you already went? Cool. Well, here's someone else. It's pretty weird how people would have but something different to say if you were to just come back here. <laughs> Big hasn't left the spot. Froggy? <laughs> I am impatient, but I'm also willing to talk to everyone. Ten o'clock, apparently. Well, bars your difference. Now can we look inside the train? Yep, we even saw Sonic disappear. Let's try to talk to everyone without triggering the knuckles fire. I'm sure I'm sure there's like one impossible person. 
that you can't talk to ever. And it's like right next to him. You mean the chow, silver chow pool. Any more people? No. Would it now? I wonder if I brung the old man with me suddenly. Then it would work. Nope. Can't just can't talk to them. And here we have Fuzzy Knuckles. Or Dirty Knuckles. What's up, Knuckles? He has a big head. Something bugging you? Apparently he was doing multiple spin dashes. No time for game, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. You know, he's so cute. What? Let's just see you take him. Huh. He doesn't he only has the crystal ring. Hey, well, let's fight Knuckles. Let's fight him the stupid. <laughs> Look how many rings I have. Oh no! <laughs> That's how you should beat him. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Give it your best shot. Well, I will. Oh no. Yay. Aw, oh, I couldn't go Super Saiyan. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh no. The Funny fighting. <laughs> oh, Sonic was sad for a moment. So Sonic is sad, and now Eggman laughs. Like taking candy from a baby. Well, they're candy in a way. It extracted the Chaos Drives. That's a Chaos Emerald. No, it's a Chaos Drive, you knucklehead. That's right, fool. That, you no, it's not just a it. Chaos you Emerold. Gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with so this. So he explodes if no, you touch him? Don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? He explodes like go, a like a boiled egg. Now I have Seven. four lovely emeralds. Chaos. <laughs> he has seventy-four chaos emeralds. Extreme edition. It's, it's just too bad we can never see Chaos These Three. For you, my friend. I can sort of imagine Chaos Three. It's like. Slightly, like an even bulkier version of it, oh, or like slightly me. hovering off the Man, ground. No one ever cuts us any. Slack. Or like, literally just sphere amorphous, like literally just a sphere with a brain in the center. If you can post fan art of Chaos Three, I would appreciate it. Lol, three twenty rings. Chaos Four, like the most boring fight. So this area, right here, I mean, look at this, it's not even, I mean, where is this in relation to anywhere else? This is clearly not that pool. I'm guessing that this area is actually a beta ver- like, at one point there were- that this was gonna take place in, like, the jungle or something, because jungles have swamps, right? Right? Okay, so the strategy with this is to, like, I guess just stay on the lily pads. This way he'll keep like try specifically try to get rid of them, or he'll just keep using the shockwave move. That works too. What dictates what move he uses? The one move you do not want to see him use in the speed run is that one where he transforms into balls. Up. Oh. Can we end this on a even number? Yeah, that's what you wanted him to use mo all the time. By the way, this water, if you stand in it too long, Sonic just takes damage. He doesn't drown. Like, it's literally just swamp water. Oh, what's he doing? He was just... Dang, he was just standing there. Okay, what are you doing? What did you do? What did he do? <laughs> Three, four, five. Let's end on that. 
By the way, he does punch you if you stand close to him, so watch out for that. Super Saiyan him. Nope, we can't do that because we're in the water. Three, four, five. And slowly watch that go down. I think a good time on this would be like 140. Or even 130, I don't know. Depends on what attack he uses. Good cutscene. 10 out of 10. Is, is he gonna play music? Behold my floating masterpiece! The egg carrier. So it is playing music. Why? But it pales in comparison to the power of chaos. I guess only when you do 50, 50 VS it doesn't play because it's like skipping the exact frame it plays the music or something. I wonder if he'll do that for Skydeck too, because for some reason this cutscene and Skydeck doesn't play their music. I hope it'll do that. Hey, we can't let him get away. Hey. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. Oh, we can't be Sonic heroes. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. No, come with. Don't be Mario. Let's get going! Okay, I understand that you can play with Knuckles! And no, we're not actually gonna go there. We're actually gonna stop right here because it's like 40 minutes on my clock, but it's gonna be like 30 minutes or so for you. I'm not gonna talk to everyone yet. We'll just end on. We'll just end on. Where is it? We'll just end on that. So we've done. So we've done Ice Cap and two boss fights in like no time at all, unlike other episodes. Even though know, there's only like three so far. Hand camera zooms up for no reason. It's not like. Just, no, he's not moving at all. But anyway, next time in Sonic Adventure, we're gonna chase the ca egg carrier and hopefully get aboard it go to stage 5, because my goal is one stage per episode. Also, why is my child just frozen in place? Is he that scarred? I mean, look at him. He's just staying put. Don't stay put. Be happy. There we go. All happy. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.